Sunday morning at Anna Care and Education in Fairfax, Virginia. The children here are busy learning their parents' mother tongue, the Uyghur language. They are also learning traditional Uyghur dances too. The Uyghur Sunday School is the first of its kind in the U.S. Saria Kashgari is the school's principal and co-founder. I have eight teachers. I have 80 students. 80 students, but sometimes it's became a 100, some semester, sometimes they uh, go down to the 80, or 70, something like that, but we are almost between 100 to uh, 70. Kashgari moved to the United States with her family in 1999. She and her daughter decided to use their own savings to found a school in 2017 to keep the Uyghur culture alive following China's crackdown against the Uyghurs in Xinjiang province. Uh, they're burning our books, uh, teaching books, uh, and then uh, class uh, all the uh, from kindergarten to high school. They not teaching at all in our Uyghur language. And then they only teaching Chinese. And then recent year, they completely, even they don't want to let us speak the Uyghur language. That's very, very severe now. We almost lost our old culture language. The Sunday school offers Uyghur language courses in three levels, elementary, intermediate, and advanced. Tumaris Almas teaches the advanced class. Because the Chinese Communist Party's cracked down on Uyghurs in our homeland, even our language could hardly survive. The education here becomes very essential to the Uyghur descendants overseas to preserve our culture and language. So I started teaching here. For the students in the advanced class, they feel they are doing more than just learning a language. So um, if you learn your language, you can't forget it and you can pass it on to your children. I'm also here, there's an Islamic class there here too, and I want to learn about my religion and see how I can become a better person and learn my, um, my mom's language and where she's from. That's the key, learning the culture. Our main culture is uh, Uyghur um, song and then with the dance. Every family, every culture, every community, the girls know how to play dance, and then boys is playing also. A report by the Uyghur Human Rights Project says the Chinese government has intimidated Uyghur Americans by threatening to put their family members in Xinjiang in camps. Kashgari says she has lost touch with her siblings in Xinjiang after opening the school. I feel I'm scared, and then I have some nervous, and then I always thinking about that. I have very, but uh, uh, I think it's so, uh, whatever, what happened. But I have to be uh, continue this school. Emin Liu, BOA News, Fairfax, Virginia.